Hey guys, it's Dan here and welcome to my new tutorial. In this one, I'm going to do a highly requested tutorial. It is how to create an automatic thumbnail wall or collage. Let's get into it. So I've left a download link in the description to the plugin you want to use for this tutorial. It's a official Adobe Photoshop CS5 plugin, but it does work with CS6 and CC as well. So all you need to do is press download now and we're going to open this file. I'm using WinRAR but any other kind of zip opener should work. So I'm going to press OK and I'll get back to you when it's done. So the plugin has downloaded and it's opened in WinRAR so what you want to do is open up this folder, go to optional plugins, Win64 and then this is the one we want to use. It's called Contact Sheet 2. All you need to do is double click on it and once Photoshop's opened that means it has installed. You can check that by going to File, Automate, and if you see contact sheet 2 there, then that means it's installed successfully and we can start creating our automatic thumbnail wall or collage. So once we've got the plugin downloaded and installed, it's time to go into Photoshop and start creating the automatic thumbnail wall. So we're going to go to File, Automate and Contact Sheet 2. Then you want to choose the folder where your images, in this case my thumbnails, are kept. I've created a brand new folder with the 20 thumbnails I want in my collage. You want to make sure you only have thumbnails in here and not any other types of files such as PSDs because then it won't create the collage as you want it. So we go in here, we choose the folder that our thumbnails are in. This is mine, so I'll just press OK. Then we want to come down here, make sure this is set to pixels. And then this is where you're going to choose the width and height of your document. I'm having a 4x5 collage, so I've came into the calculator and just done a few sums, so it's, all my thumbnails are 1280 by 720 so it'll be 1280 times 4 and 720 times 5 then that gives you the dimensions of your document. So then we'll just change this back to inches and you want to make sure that the vertical and horizontal are set to 0 and then you want to make sure flatten all layers is turned off that means you can change anything if you want to after the document's been created. Then in here this is where you choose your columns and rows, I'm having 4 by 5 so I chose 4 columns and 5 rows then that's all you need to do and you just press OK and as you can see the thumbnail wall starts being made automatically. I'll come back to you when it's finished. And here we go, this is the automatic collage completed. So there's just a few things you want to do before you save it. So you want to go here and delete the background there by just pressing delete on your keyboard. And then as you can see there's some small transparent borders around the edge of the image. So you just want to go to image and trim and then make sure you trim away the transparent pixels. Press OK and that'll trim away any borders. And then that's basically the collage finished. Obviously you can make any changes, so you can choose any number of thumbnails you wish in the contact sheet menu. And if you want to move any of these thumbnails around, you can, they're all still here as layers, so they're easy to move around. But that is the basics of the thumbnail well done. Then you can just go and file, save for web, and save it as a PNG24. And that's all you need to do. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want any more simple tutorials like this. I'll see you next time.